Ubisoft used a stolen banner from and like a reenactment group in, mm -hmm. in their thing, and they're asking them if they can remove it. And I guess Ubisoft says, "No, yeah, you're not going to do that." Too expensive. We need more DEI money for that to happen. But no, and the we thing don't is, have the money. The thing is that the books have already been printed and probably even shipped out already, and it's basically yeah. like they like it's sort of hard for them to do, right? But the thing is that like yeah. they printing art books is expensive and it takes a long time like i I've, yeah. I've i've done a lot of it before so this comes mm -hmm. to us from dat park place again see ubisoft refuses to remove stolen banner from upcoming assassin's creed shadows art book reenactment group is now contacting square enix i believe square enix is the one who's doing it Publisher. i believe publishing okay. they're, they're the ones I, I watched hypnotic's take on this on this article it's because, yeah, I, I also just found out recently that Square Enix publishes other stuff like manga, anime. It's like I, when I watch some of the anime, it's like I see Square Enix. What? Square Enix published this? Oh, I didn't know. I just thought they just published video games. But they also published stuff like this and anime. So, yeah, for those wondering why Square Enix is on it, they're the ones publishing, unfortunately, this art book for Ubisoft. Man. Uh, let's read this. Assassin's Creed Shadow developer Ubisoft is refusing to remove the banner it stole from a reenactment group for its upcoming art book for the game. And a representative of the group has been has revealed that he's contacted Square Enix to get the image of the from uh, the image removed from the book. All right, here we go. In the middle of June, Ubisoft was accused of stealing a banner from the Sekigahara Teppo Corps, as noted from former World of Warcraft team lead Mark Kern. The banner was seen worn by a soldier in the game. Right over here. Uh, this is Ubi. This banner is from Ubisoft used without permission, which is he provided proof. As a member of the group was informed about the black, uh, sorry, the back flag and confirmed it was indeed the group's flag, as translated by Google on X, wrote, I heard a little bit about it, but it seems that the Sekigahara Rifle Corps was used as a background for the concept art for Assassin's Creed Shadow. I actually took a look at it, and when I zoomed in, I could definitely see a back flag that we use. Honestly, I'm not sure how to react, which is the actual uh, response right over here in, uh, in Japanese. He also shared that the group was contemplating filing a lawsuit, but indicated that the group is made entirely of volunteers and is not a profit-making entity. Uh, he stated that, thank you so much for all your comments. We do not engage in profit-making activities, and we are run almost entirely by volunteers from the gen, uh, general public. Many people are in the opinion that we should sue, but we, uh, sorry, but we uh, have to cover the cost for the effort. I'm glad that you have care about it. But, uh, so what do you think about about them? Like, yeah, it's it's, it's all like a nonprofit. Like the all, all, majority of this yeah. reenactment groups, like they're all doing this is because it's a hobby. It's something that's fun yeah. for them to do. That's the sad thing about reality. It's like, I think Ubisoft is gonna get away with it. Like they don't have to retract because, like again, in the in the Ubisoft's perspective, it costs too much money to reprint and like I don't know, um, dispose those current incorrect ones. It's just uh, maybe in a financial standpoint, it doesn't make sense for them to do. But mm -hmm. at the same time, uh, it's it's the the right thing to do is to actually you know retract those. But you know you know how corporate corporates are. They they do what's Money is the most important thing, more than the moral or ethical standpoint. Uh, but in terms of this group, that yeah, it, it's a sad reality. They just don't have the resources to you know file a legal claim against Ubisoft, uh, unless probably someone steps in, a larger, bigger entity or an individual with the financial backing, be able to help them out. But I don't huh. honestly, I don't. See I that. I wonder if Elon Musk can help them. Did, did did he did he if no, he reacted be, to this? Yeah, he, he Elon Musk is he's aware about this whole um Yasuke in uh situation. So I wonder if if this group basically like forwards the message to Elon Musk said that we don't have we're 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 a nonprofit, we don't do this for uh we do these activities with our own funds, it's all volunteer, we don't have the funds for it, and then Elon Musk would be like, I will be I will be a champion. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, if he does that, then good. <laughs> yeah, so, even in deeper so start start tagging Elon Musk in this. So hopefully he uh, they'll get the funds to uh, to get it done. Let's see, uh, he will go on to reveal that he contacted Ubisoft Japan and informed them that they should seek permission to use the back flag. I registered as a user and contacted Ubisoft Japan's support via inquiry form. 
I told them that the concept art depicts a Seki Gahara Rifle Corp flag and that if they wanted to officially use it, they should contact the representative. Ubisoft Japan officially apologized for using the back flag and noted the art featuring the banner would no longer be distributed alongside, sorry, aside from the art book for the game's collector's edition. As translated by Google, Ubisoft Japan posted on X, we have received notice that two pieces of the concept art previously released for Assassin's Creed Shadows use a flag from the Sekigahara Battlefield Hospitality Union, the Sekigahara Rifle Corp, without permission. The group was given the opportunity to apologize, and it was accepted. This is likely an issue with the translation, and it is probably better interpreted as the group gave us the opportunity to apologize, and it was accepted. Ubisoft added, the art in question will not be used or distributed any further beyond this point, uh, beyond this date, except for being including in the art book for the collector's edition. We deeply apologize for this matter. Like you said, they already printed this shit. Going to print takes a lot of money, takes a lot of time, and you need to proofread everything. And um, I'm not sure if they're going to do it. I'm not sure. But let's see what Square has to say about this. However, the representative of the reenactment group also asked the flag to be removed from the artwork and revealed that Ubisoft has refused to do so. He wrote on X, since it is the weekend, I was hoping to receive a reply from support, but there has been no reply as of now. It seems that printing and the production of the art book has already begun. So will uh, so will their response remain the same? That cannot be uh, that cannot be the the thing is you're gonna have like thousands, tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of these books. And the thing is that these art books are shared amongst their colleagues as well. Like they actually yeah. So when our company did an art book for our Marvel game, like we sold it to the public. We gave it out to content creators, and we also distributed it amongst the, the 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 people who worked on the game. So, like, there is there's definitely going to be hundreds of thousands of these books. Imagine, and in if each each book costs us like maybe like twenty dollars per book, fifteen dollars per book, and they have to reprint them because he because you guys fucked up. It's going to cost them a lot of money, and I don't think they're going to be willing to do it. Yeah, and unless like if it's in Square Enix side, I don't blame them. Like they're just do they're just like the middleman, you say, in this kind of like uh manage example in a company. Um, they decided to do mass layoffs. It it Square Enix in that situation is like HR cascading the message. So it's like they're getting yeah. some of the blame, but it's not really their fault. They're there's they're just like honoring their part of the, the deal. And yeah, yeah, it's if if ever they're gonna do a reprint, it's all the financial expenses has to come from Ubisoft. Not definitely not them. Yep, you're absolutely correct. All right, let's go back right over here. In a follow up on July 29th, he revealed that Ubisoft refused to remove the flag from the art book. I received a message from Ubisoft support today, and the details are as follows: I printed it out so I can't delete it now. It's official to make. Uh, out the text from the image. The image has been deleted from the systems managed by Ubisoft. I'm sorry I couldn't meet your request. In bullet points, that's what happened. Basically, respondent. While Ubisoft refused to remove the image from the art book, Matchlock Akage indicated that he's now contacting Square Enix, the prospective publisher of the art book, to have it removed. He wrote on X, since it seemed like we would not have, uh, we'd not be able to make progress with Ubi software, uh, alone, we contacted Square Enix, the company that would be distributing the game in Japan for support. Uh, yeah, what do you think? So, in my opinion, I think it's they're they're gonna do as much as they can. They're gonna be like, "I'm sorry, the book is already printed." Like they're already get they're already like you know the, the game's coming out what November. Yeah, yeah. So like these these are already sitting in like facilities, getting ready to be like packaged in and shipped out, like getting ready to go. So there, unfortunately, this is not going to happen. It, 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 it sucks, but it will be huge if somehow they got backing for this and then they went forward to like court and like to have it professionally removed or something like that. But I, I, I don't think so. I think they're just probably yeah. going to settle. Yeah, I think so too. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.